Hey, what's up guys? I brought you back out to the beach again today because I discovered a cool little trick for turning these fibers on a coconut husk into a bundle of rope. It's not that difficult to do and it's a really cool trick, especially if you find yourself in a survival situation. Now after you bust your coconut open, one of the first things you're gonna notice is all these hairy fibers in here. And if it's a mature coconut like the brown ones, it's gonna be very dry. Now just go ahead and use your fingertips and pull off bits of that fluff. We wanna try and get the finest fibers possible. Now you can see when this first comes out of the shell, it's kind of dirty, grungy. There's some hard pieces of fibers in there. Get rid of any of the fibers that are a little bit too hard. We just want to keep the fine, fluffy stuff as much as possible. Now this is where things get really cool. Once you got your little ball of coconut fuzz like this, just grab a few fibers at top, give it a little pinch and start twisting it. And as you're twisting, give it a little tug and you'll find just like magic, it starts pulling a string right out of the center of the fuzzy ball. And as long as you pull and twist, it'll keep that string going until there's nothing left of the ball. It's entirely consumed. How cool is that? So there you go, just like that, we got a little piece of cordage made out of our coconut husk. The problem is it's not very strong, so we're gonna reinforce this thing using a reverse twist, which isn't too difficult once you see how it's done. Twist the cord so you put some tension on it, the same direction you were twisting it before, then put it over, pitch it with your thumb and finger, and grab the one from underneath and do the same thing. What we're doing is creating a reverse twist that essentially locks these two cords together. It binds them so they can't come undone. So you can see we've got a few inches of double-stranded coconut husk rope, which actually is impressively strong. It takes quite a bit to break this. Now, if you want to make your rope longer, all we have to do is take another piece of cordage and graft it onto the end here. And you basically do that by running the two fibers together, unraveling them a little bit, and then breaking the fibers together and giving it a twist. And what that essentially does is it grafts it into one continuous piece like we had before. You can see that when the grafted parts are twisted in, the cord is virtually seamless, so you can really make your rope about as long as you want. So check this out guys, I just spent about 45 minutes on the beach, made myself a little wristband here out of some rope, and I got about maybe four or five feet of rope stranded out here. Use it for a clothesline, put it on your wrist and use it for decorations. Maybe you could use this for making torches, candle wicks. You can double this up and make it stronger. We're gonna do that same concept again, but this time we're gonna do the opposite twist we did last time. Before we were going clockwise, but this time we're gonna go counterclockwise so that it makes a nice twist, and we're gonna go underneath. Then we're gonna grab the one on top, we're gonna to go counterclockwise and go underneath. And we're gonna repeat that process for the whole length of the rope here. What's cool about this is I'm weaving it by hand, but if you look closely here, it almost looks like a legitimate rope, doesn't it? With the double strands in there. There we go, made it to the end. Now we're down to about two feet of cord, but that's quite a bit stronger. And we can pull it to work out some of that tension. And then if we wanted to, we could just repeat that process all over again and make it even stronger. There we go. So we've gone from six feet of relatively strong rope to about one, maybe one and a half feet of really strong rope. And that is holding in really good. I'd be curious to know how much weight that would actually hold. But I'd be willing to bet it'll hold at least 100 pounds. So there you have it guys. That's how to take a coconut husk and turn it into a rope. Any length or any thickness you want it to be. Thanks so much for joining me for this experiment and I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. Oh. Ah.